Hello, today I'm going to show you a quick and easy way to get started with time lapses and Clipper. Thanks to the hard work of the mainsail crew with their latest update of the Moonraker time lapse component, some of you may have tried this in the past and run into a few issues due to the folder structure of Clipper having changed, stopping the script from working and having to manually change the script. But now it's back and better with support for old and new installs of Clipper and added uninstall script along with support for multiple installs of Clipper for those of you running multiple printers off a single Pi or computer. So first thing we need to do is go to their GitHub, link below. Here we just scroll down to the installation link. And grab this bit of code. And then we just want to jump into our Pi over terminal. And we're going to paste this whole chunk of code in. Here we are just changing to the right directory, using git to download the clone of the GitHub. Here to change the directory that we've just created with the clone, and run the install script. You should be prompted by the installer to confirm you want to install the component, so just hit the return key here, and the installation will start. Once the happy printing pops up, that's all we need to do in Shell and can go back to our web interface and restart Moonraker. Now we've installed the component, we just need to grab a chunk of code that we need to pop into our Moonraker config. So pop into the config and paste the code at the bottom and hit the save and restart. Next we just need to click on the configuration link. This will take us to a page with a line of code that we need to put into our printer config file. And now we should see the time-lapse component showing in our update manager. So go into your printer configuration file and paste the line of code to include the component. Save and restart. And back on the GitHub is a guide of what you'll need to edit in your slicer of choice. Here I'm in Prusa, so I just add the line time-lapse take frame in my before layer change G-code. Next we need to activate the component in our Moonraker configuration. So grab this code block, back into our web interface and open up the Moonraker config again. Paste the code block and uncomment out the three lines with the single pound sign in front of them. and save and restart. Now you should have time lapse in both the update manager and in the side menu. Opening it up you'll see where we'll find completed time lapse videos and free space and the ability to add folders. Now in the interface setting we can set things up. First you can enable and disable, pick your webcam, choose time lapse or hyperlapse. Hyperlapse will take pictures based on time rather than layer changes. So really don't use this on a bed slinger printer, stick with time lapse. Next thing you're going to want to change is the park tool head options. You have front, back, left, right, center and custom. Here I use custom just based on the position of my webcam and just change the coordinates to where I want to have the print head parked. Travel speed is self-explanatory and you may want to play around with this setting as well as the park time depending on your webcam, printer, filament and so on. 
I set mine to half a second as I have a very wobbly camera and it needs a few seconds to settle on faster movements. Everything else you'll need to play with yourself, but the stock setup should work fine and get you up and running. And that's it. All we need to do now is start the print. And here you can see the layer change. The bed will move to the custom park position. Wait, take the picture before carrying on with the rest of the print. When complete, we can click on the time lapse tab and we'll see our new video. We can double click to watch it. And we can hit the download button to download. If you want to delete it, you just tick the box and hit the trash can icon. Speaking of deleting, if this has not worked for you or you need to remove the component for some reason, just pop back into Shell, navigate to the Moonraker time lapse folder, and if we list the files in there, we'll see a folder named Scripts. We can change directory into that folder list the files in there and we'll see that there is an install and uninstall script. To uninstall we just type in bash uninstall and the script will run automatically. Here I'm just going to pick no to the install as I want to carry on playing with this some more. Once again thank you to the main sale crew for this new update and added features. Any issues just comment below or check out the GitHub. I'm sure they'll be adding more documentation for the multi-clipper instances and other more advanced features that they've added. But as this is a basics video, I'm just giving you what you need to get started. Thank you for watching and if you found it helpful, please hit that like button. And if you think I've earned it, a subscribe would be very much appreciated. Thank you.